yeah, so I decided to, um, do a story time about, about all the concerts I went to. I think I talked about them, and when I did the get to know me tag, I'm not too short. And then I also have posted videos of, um me at concerts and stuff but I just wanted to tell like when was my first concert up until now you know how did how did it start happening me going to all these concerts so um, we started to get into uh, me and my friend Selena we started to get into this um, one person named Logic, and we just like the songs, and we've been trying to go see him for I don't know how long, I don't know, she got me into it, I got her into it, her boyfriend got her into it, and, um, uh, I don't know how that all happened, but we all just, me and her just, I don't like this person, so, I was on Facebook's I, I don't, I want to say Instagram or Facebook, it might have been both, I think later on it started to come on Facebook, but I first saw it on Instagram, and we almost got the same friends, but, um, we got like different ads, and she wasn't really too much in her Instagram, like, she's not big on social media, she has, you know, she has social media, but she's not big into it. So I had saw I was like six vibes, like they got um a music festival and logic is coming and Michelle um what's his name? I don't know why it's a Michelle. Um Mach Machine Gun Kelly. He was it was a lot of people coming. But my main focus was, I saw Logic, I was like, oh heck, so I messaged my friend, I was like, girl, we need to go, he's coming to San Antonio, to Six Flags of Music Festival, we gotta go, so we get there, early in the morning, we were on, we were riding rides, cause we bought our tickets, cause even if you have a season pass, you still gotta buy, you still gotta buy tickets, because, I mean, People are going to want to see the music. So, even if you have a season pass to get in six months, you still got to buy tickets. So, we bought tickets online. And we decided to go riding on the rides. And I've never been. I don't get on rides. So, I was just like, no, nah, you got to go. You got to get on rides for me. Do it for me. And I was just like, okay. So, um, there was a lot of guys that we went with. There was friends. And, um, so yeah. So we went and we got on some rides. And I was, I was being a little baby about these rides. I even called in. I asked off of work three weeks in advance. They didn't give it to me. I told them, look, I got tickets to this concert. I asked three weeks in advance trying to give it to me. I'm calling in. Y'all can deal with it. Anyways. So I called in. I'm not coming in to work. I ain't coming in Saturday or Sunday. I think I was on Friday. So I think I was on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Because I called in. Sunday I called in because I had a blister. And I wasn't able to walk. I had a blister on my foot. Like, where you would walk between your toes, like, you know, where the pressure is. I couldn't walk. I was, I was limping around this whole entire house. But hey, we still party here. So, um, so yeah, we went, we, and when it was, because he performed, he was our last person. So we were like, oh, we got to go find a spot. Let's beat everybody. It was like 8 o'clock. 
seven or eight and Yachty was playing so he was my first person that I saw um, at the concert it was multiple people different stages different people playing different people singing whatever so we saw Yachty slash little boat and then we saw Alyssa or yeah Alyssa, Alyssa and um she sings you're beautiful or you're beautiful and then our scars are beautiful something like that um and then logic so we get there to the spot and we snuck in because you gotta have like vip tickets and we're, we're like no you know we buy regular tickets but we sneaking in so we i have my little big so i was like getting through the gate and there wasn't much opening at all not at all the opening was probably like that maybe like that big kind of like and you know it wasn't much it was enough for you to squeeze in if you needed to get taller get on your tippy toes and we getting in i'm just like I'm too big. I can't get through it. Psst. Psst. I got in. And then I was recording. And it sounded so bad. I'm going to see if I could find all these clips from Yachty to Logic. And those videos are going to sound bad. And so... We snuck in, and then for Logic, we were in the middle, like, close to the stage, but we were, like, ducking, like, yeah, it was crazy, and there was this lady that was like, these people shouldn't be here, get on out, and I'm just like, shh, be quiet, you're snitching, we all here for the same thing, why can't we get a closer view? So then... I mean, if somebody else would have did that, we wouldn't tell for what. We all seen the same person. We're just trying to get close to take videos and pictures and like, come on out. Don't be a buzzkill. So, oh, this video's going to be long. It's already seven minutes. So, this video's going to be very long. So, we're like, shut up. Like, be quiet. Being a buzzkill party pooper so we were out there and we got on the like you know how we like it's like a stadium and when the when they cut the lights off we all jumped up and we weren't we weren't sitting we were standing and we ain't have much space at all you know your little tiny body on this little tiny step like there's no way you can sit down comfortable so we stood up and then I swatched I swap switch spots with my friend she got in front of me and I had my phone like this like in one hand like trying to do it like this and I was watching the stage through this through my phone because I couldn't see so I was like this trying to like get the stage trying to record and luckily I turned my phone off, like, not my phone, but I stopped the video and I caught her because she, she like, felt like she would have busted her butt. And so I had caught her and she was like, girl, you lifted me like paper. I'm like, I got you. I got you. So then, um, you know, all that that had happened, I was just like... So then I was like, you know, I got you. We good. Okay, we leave. That was my very first concert. I saw three people at one time. How lucky. Then, later on in the summer, I saw um, these YouTubers, Armand and Trey. There's a video about that in there too 
I'm sorry all these videos you can't hear or see the video so clearly it's because at the time my phone that I had it didn't have storage so I couldn't make the video clear like it is now I got a different phone so I'm sorry um, but I'm not gonna add clips I'm I mean I could add a clip or two I'm not gonna add all the clips like I did because I have three different videos for that you could go see it I'm sorry if it sounds so ugly but it's just that would be too much it's just a story time about when I went to the concerts and stuff but I'll add a video or two in there so I had hit up my friend because I got her into the music she was like oh, we gotta go I was like bet okay so she bought the tickets online we got the we got the tickets for the meet and greet and we got there didn't think nothing of it we were waiting in line this whole time just for the doors to open for the general tickets and we had the meet and greet tickets i was just like whatever i'm good i'm gucci we could spend time with him with those with um i'm on a train so I was like, you know what, it's cool, it's, I'm fine, I'm not tripping. So we get in, and they started, they were last, and it was the Bomb Digs and Lucky and these other, these other people, and then, um, Stanley, and those, those, they were good. Well, the Bomb Digs, that was my first time, but they opened up for. Beyonce and all these other famous people so they know what they're doing they open up for other people before you know so I was like okay you know something new and I'll add I can't add a video because I only have pictures of the bomb digs now that I'm thinking of it I don't have a video of Lucky but you can look them up on Instagram or YouTube called Bomb Digs. Um, it's D I G Z Digs. Um, and then Bomb, bomb Digs. So, um, so we get there to San Antonio and all that. And then when the when the when they performed and it was over. They said, if you want to stay and chill, it's $25. And then if you want to buy merch. So we got a t-shirt, a modern trade t-shirt. And we stayed and we chilled. We took pictures with them. Um, we didn't eat pizza. I wanted to eat, but I was like, I'm not going to be a fatty. Let's just chill. So we chilled and everybody was hanging out. Everybody was dancing. They were having fun. And so, you know, it was fun. We were having a blast. And so, um, later on, we were like, we were tired. We were, we were tired. So, um, we left, we came home. She stayed the night here because we were out all night. We didn't get home until like three or four. And my parents were cool. So I could be out all hours of the night. Oh my gosh, I'm safe. And they know where I'm at. They're cool. Her parents are strict at the time. So before she moved out. So I was like, you know what? Just come stay the night. You know, it'll be fine. So she stayed the night here. Got up. Ate breakfast. She went to work. And then another concert was the rest concert this was on halloween i told her i said hey and i'm so blessed for her because she's the one that been buying like all my tickets and stuff and i was like you know that's my best friend so we had got tickets for the rest concert and she said because this is my first time seeing him she she saw him before at, at acl in austin at the music festival and I wanted to see him, so she's like, you want to go? Okay, so into AT&T Center in um, San Antonio. And this is how it all happened. I feel like... Hang on. We don't keep 
Anyway, uh, if you don't know this one, I'm going to try because I think you guys will have fun. Let's get it. She was gonna buy tickets so I can meet like a meet and greet. So we were just gonna get the regular tickets to sit and then get the meet and greet tickets. I was like, no, that's too much. You know, I'll be fine just seeing him per like just seeing him like you know on stage singing. And um hang on. I'm sorry, I'm not paying my nose. I'm just trying to fix my ring. It's like pokey. Okay. So, uh, I was like, you know, I'll be fine just seeing him. Okay, you know, you sure? I said, yeah, I'm fine. So, you know, stuff starts happening. You know, she's living her life. I'm living my life. And, you know, we we didn't stop talking, but we grew apart. And um, I'm trying not to be too loud. And so, my friend was like, my other friend was like, hey, you going still? I was like, yeah, I'm going. I was like, but I don't know because of this. I was like, well, I was like, well, um, I have four, three, he goes, he goes, I have three floor tickets and a VIP ticket with the meet and greet. And I was just like, word for real? He was like, yeah. I was like, okay. He was like, you can have that VIP ticket slash meet and greet. And your two friends could come. And I was like, bet, okay. So I messaged her. She's like, bet, let's do it. I was like, okay. So I text him. I was like, yes, let's do it. So... I was like, hey, you know, can we meet here at my house? You know, we could all live together. Da 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 da. And um, comes to find out, I'm messaging her like, you know, when are we leaving? She looks like she wasn't sure, and I'm just like, it's whatever. I was like, I'm gonna ride with him. So he was like, yeah, you know, you you come ride with me. That's fine. So I drove up there with him. You know, he drove, and I was just with him. And, um, we get there, and I got floor ticket at the stage front. I mean, besides people standing. Um, I saw him, and then I got a meet and greet. I get to take a picture with him. What more can you ask for? This is all I wanted. Like, I was so blessed. Like, you know, I was blessed. This is what I wanted. I got what I wanted. You know, God's good. You know. So, um, we did that. And then, I got all the videos. I got me a new phone. And 
I lost them. I lost all the rest, all the rest videos, besides the ones I took from Snapchat, and I saved those. I was so hurt. I, I mean, I posted videos on Facebook, all the videos on Facebook, all the videos on Instagram. So don't get me wrong, I didn't lose them, but I lost them. I don't have the videos saved to my phone. So I was so hurt. I wanted to cry because I lost all my videos. And my friend, I'm so thankful for her. She's the sweetest. She has an iPhone, so she screen recorded them for me and she sent them to me. And I don't think that's all the videos, but she is a life saver. And if you go to my YouTube, to my channel, you can see the rest videos that I posted. I shared them all on there, but they look crappy. But those are all the songs that I got recorded. But yes, I wanted to cry. I was just like, how can this happen to me? Like, I felt so hurt. And my next concert, I was going to go to the one and again um, at Kerrigan's Club. It was a Kirk Banks, but I didn't go because I was sick. I had food poisoning, and I didn't buy my tickets either. So I guess it was a sign for me not to go anyways. And then in March, March the 8th, um, Kane Brown is coming. I want to go see him. Hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully we go. Because I'm supposed to be going with my brother. But I'm trying not to speak too soon. I'm trying to speak in existence. Because every time I speak too soon, because I get so happy and excited, my plan just gets ruined. Like, I don't get to go. So, let's just hope. I get to go. So yeah, um, that's my story of all the concerts I went to. Um, I'm gonna try and find videos, and I'm gonna insert them in here. So as you're watching this video, you can see the video. You can see the concerts and stuff. Thank you.